Hello everyone, I'm Aniyah from Fiber by India today and I'm back with the best phones video. This time the best phones under 35,000 rupees in India right now. So this price segment, the sub 35,000 rupees price segment is a rather tricky one because any phone uh, priced above this price segment falls in the upper mid-range uh, smartphone category while anything below this is your affordable mid-range smartphone segment. But this one is the pure mid-range smartphone segment, the phones that are priced anywhere between 25,000 rupees to 35,000 rupees. And don't let the price point fool you because these phones, they have all the goodness that you would need uh, that is present in the higher end counterparts. But uh, these phones, they don't burn a hole in your pocket. So which are the best phones for under 35,000 rupees in India right now? Well, that's what I'm here to tell you all about. But of course, before we get on with the rest of the video, consider hitting that red subscribe button for detailed tech videos and also turn on the bell so that you don't miss any of our latest updates. With that said, let's get started. We kick off the list with the OnePlus Nord 3 which is a really nice looking and fancy smartphone. It has a flat 120Hz AMOLED screen that shows photos and videos really well and it is super smooth. You can easily switch between different notification modes courtesy of the return of the alert slider. The Oxygen OS 13 software on the phone works really well and is easy to use, is optimized really well. The 5000 mAh battery charge is really fast and it also lasts a long time. Now this phone has up to 16 GB of RAM so you can also do many things at once without it getting slow. Overall, the OnePlus Nord 3 is a really great choice for a phone that is fast, that is powerful and it costs under 35,000 rupees. Now the next phone on the list is the iQ Neo 7 Pro which is another great example for a phone that costs under 35,000 rupees. It is powered uh, by the tried and tested Snapdragon 8 Plus Gen 1 chipset which uh, makes it fast and it is also the most affordable phone to come with this uh, chipset. The flat AMOLED screen is nice and bright and it refreshes at 120Hz and the 5000mAh battery is big and lasts a long time. As mentioned, the phone is another great option for people who want a good phone without spending too much money. Now, the camera takes really good pictures with lots of details. Overall, the iQ Neo 7 Pro is even better than its more affordable sibling, the iQ Neo 7, as it works faster, it has more features, all for a price that does not cost a bomb. The third phone on the list is the Motorola Edge 45G, which is a fantastic smartphone, which was initially launched for about uh, 30,000 rupees, exactly 29,999 rupees. However, these days, the phone is retailing on Flipkart for a price of about 27,000 rupees, which makes it an even better deal. And what's neat about this smartphone is that it only comes in one version, that is with 8GB RAM and 256GB storage. So you won't have to decide between different options. Now, what makes this phone really special is that it has the features usually seen in more expensive phones. It has a metal frame, there's a choice between glass or vegan leather back, and it can handle dust and water really well thanks to the IP68 rating. It can also charge wirelessly at 15 watt and record videos in 4K resolution. Overall, if you want a phone that works fast, uh, that is easy to use and also comes with a clean Android interface, well, Motorola Edge 45G is one of the best options out there. The Poco F5 5G is the final phone on this list and this is my personal recommendation and here's why I think that uh, this is the best phone you can get right now for under 35,000 rupees. So initially launched for about 30,000 rupees, right now you can get the base version of the phone for 23,999 rupees. However, if you want to go all guns blazing, you can also get the 12GB RAM plus 256GB storage variant of the phone for 26,999 rupees, which again is a solid deal. And on top of this, with features such as a 12-bit 120Hz AMOLED display, the powerful Snapdragon 7 Plus Gen 2 chip under the hood, which is basically an underclocked 8 Plus Gen 1 chip, a 5000 mAh battery, 67W fast charging, an OIS primary rear camera, and of course, undeniably good looks and solid build. The POCO F5 is one of the most well-rounded packages that you can buy right now at a very attractive price. And yes guys, uh, those were the best phones that you can buy in India right now for under 35,000 rupees. Of course, POCO F5 is my personal recommendation, but the other phones on the list are equally good. But uh, which phones do you think are the best and did I miss any phone? Let me know all your thoughts in the comments below and as always, for all the latest in tech, stay tuned to Fiber. I'll catch you all in the next one. Thank you for watching.